Hello everyone. My name is Alexander and I have been delivered. Women, 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 women. I said women. Um I used to be what you would call a whore. I'm not gay. I would not date a man. I would It looks like I'm laughing, but I'm really tearing up. I used to be a whore and I used to go all around the block just chomping on glizzies. One glizzy there, another glizzy there. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> um, but no, for real, I'm being serious. I ain't with that gay stuff. I ain't with that gay, I ain't with that gay stuff for real. That's not for me. I like cat. I like uh, pussy. Puss well, I'm not, technically I'm not supposed to say it. Like I, I like woman, wo women. And so I, not woman, I swear I don't play that shit. Y'all tell me what that is. Y'all tell me what that is. Y'all tell me what that is. The Holy Bible. Read it. Read it to gain knowledge. Read it to gain knowledge. So you too will stop being a sissy bitch. Oh, okay, Jesus. so let's talk about today's topic. Ooh, I got that shit on. Walk away video as fat. How long? My nigga in the cut making plays on his iPhone. And now I'm bring shit to the table but the iPhone. Pussy. We're talking about the personal dildo that's being used by Satan, Little Nas X. <laughs> Father, scratch my hands. The lonely road seems to last the longest. Help me with my plans. All I can say is it's getting dangerous. So, Little Nas X recently, I guess, decided to release another troll onto the Christian community by saying that he's now making Christian music. I am disgusted. I am upset. I am living, actually. No, but for real, the Christians got upset. Lil Nas X. Man, there's people out here who really love God, who really live their life for Jesus. And you think we just gonna sit back here and let you blaspheme the Lord like that? Bro, you ain't a Christian. You an abomination using the title of a Christian for clout. Being born again is a real life process. Is a real life sanctification process that a lot of us real believers are going through. It but Christian girlies got upset like they usually do. And basically, it's just been this constant battle between the LGBTQ community and the Christian community. Right? I think I saw two weeks ago on Jubilee where they decided to do like a little thing where they were asking ex-LGBTQ and the current LGBTQ members, you know, their stance and about God and all this other stuff. I actually attended quite a few pride festivals and they were amazing. But do I agree that holding pride festivals are a good thing? No, I don't agree because being gay, I do believe is a sin and that does something to the land. Like when we celebrate that, it can cause earthquake, diseases, all this stuff to start to happen according to the Bible. <laughs> this whole thing about Christianity versus the faggots. How many times are we going to talk about this? How many times are we going to talk about gay people? How many times is the Christian community going to be yapping their mouth? Dante, you snapped on this. A gay demon. They say Bryson, why you go so hard? I give you way reasons. Reason one, he took all money as soon as he got big. All of a sudden, he pushing homosexuality on our kids. Ah. They trying to push that on our black men, but the kids ain't know he was a side of my way back then. He was going school to school, had the crowds packed in. So how you a Christian rapper, but don't call I sin? I've seen so many. I don't know what's going on with the Christians these days, but the girls are acting like they're persecuted. You would have thought that just by identifying as a Christian, you would have been dragged out of your house, dragged out in front of the neighbors, dragged out. They're not going to do anything. They can't save you. They can't save you in this dystopian world. Big Brother's watching. They can't save you. And so they're going to be dragged into the back of a minivan, taken to Lord knows where to be 
reconditioned, if you will, in order to be able to assimilate to the secular world. They're acting like they're in some type of Wattpad story. One thing I'll never understand is why people comment hate comments. Because Jesus said you were going to do that. I mean, you have your own religion and all this, but you want to comment on a God that you don't even believe is real? Why you got so much hatred towards somebody that you don't believe is real? Okay? Because whoever you're living for is the enemy of God. Okay? That's what's overflowing in you. Okay? So by you coming at me and wanting to speak on me, Jesus said that I was doing it. So it's because y'all hated him first. Right, so when I'm being persecuted, you're actually proving that Jesus is king. That In reality, Christians run this country, honey. Christians run America. Take out a dollar bill. Don't act like you only use digital. Take out a dollar bill right now. What does it say on that dollar bill? In God we trust. In Allah we trust? No. In big universe, we trust? No. In, in voodoo, we trust? No. In all this other spirituality, we trust? No. It says in God, we trust. Christianity has been at the foundation of this country. A lot of them had pushback because they decided to bring their ass over here to what is now America. And they decided to do a little ethnic cleansing. At the end of the day, telling gay people that they need to stop being gay because it's a sin to be gay is so stupid. Especially coming from a straight person. What the hell do they know about what's going on in the gay world? The straight people barely know what they're doing in straight world. How many times are we going to sit here and talk about high value man, low value man, divesting, women should do this, females this, niggas ain't shit, on my mama, on my hood, I look fly, I look good. At the end of the day, they're doing too damn much. They're acting a damn fool. So what the hell do they know about the gay people, huh? While I'm waiting for your fucking response, are you just not going to say anything, dumbass? Isn't most of society heterosexual? And they still have broken marriages? Grandma done exposed to you the fact that she got married at 15 and... Let's not talk about that. Let's not even talk about heterosexuality. Let's talk about life. Let's talk about the fact that Israel and Palestine is still having their own little debacle, if you will. Let's talk about how I've seen so many kids blown up and so many dead babies on Twitter alone from the coverage that's happening in Palestine. And yet you would think that the biggest detriment to society itself, the biggest, most demonic thing to society itself is, and bear with me, a gay person. Being gay, I do believe, is a sin, and that does something to the land. Like, when we celebrate that, it can cause earthquake, diseases, all this stuff to start. But something is even more insidious than that. Bear with me. A trans person. Are we serious right now? Trans people, gay people, that's what's causing the lack of morale in America, in the country, in the world. Christians have been a part of a lot of genocides. Christianity has been used to justify the enslavement of my fucking people. But Alex, that wasn't the true Christians. What the hell is a true Christian at this point? I feel like I can become a true Christian at this point. I mean, what what is the requirement? Who is in this club? Because That's between you and God, bro. That ain't none of my business. But you on your big platform trying to stamp Christianity with your blasphemous tongue, dog. You need to repent. And once you repent, the only thing you need to be doing on your knees is rejoicing. Thanking God that he saved you from the hands of Satan. Bro, you a better off talk my religious era or spiritual phase because Christianity ain't something that you just dibble and dabble in. It's a lifelong commitment that some of us is actually living for real. It's real Christians out here who's suffering and still giving their y'all to the Lord. Y'all need to put more respect on Christianity and what the faith is, bro, because it's not a game. Because the ones they say they are true Christians, I'm like, when did you repent? When did you, when were you reborn? Was it like a couple of days ago? Was it a couple of months? Was it a couple of years ago? What work did you do? Is there like a number of hours that you're supposed to read the Bible to really be a true Christian? Because at this point, the true Christians aren't looking like true Christians. You're saying love this and love that and have empathy, but having empathy is not calling somebody a faggot. Having empathy is not creating narratives that's saying that gay people are trying to make your kids fucking gay. Having empathy is not sitting there talking about 
matter how much you need a specific certain group to sit there and assimilate to your religion alone so that we can sit there and have this. Having empathy and having understanding is not ruling the country. You don't rule anything and you're not standing up for God. You're standing up for your religion. You're standing up for Christianity being, you know, part of nationalism, basically. That's what's being stand up for. That's what we're sitting there putting on a pedestal. We're putting on a pedestal religion, the good book, not God, the Bible. I saw a clip of somebody sitting there saying, you're not a true Christian if you listen to Beyonce. You have bowed to the systems of the world. You have bowed. Any of you who are going to Beyonce's concert, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. How dare you call yourself a Christian? Wait a minute. What happened to, what happened to let's allow people to go at their own pace? Whether that's a couple of weeks, a couple of months, or realistically, a couple of years, and then some. We have to allow people to go into their faith. Go into believing in, in God. Go into becoming a Christian, a true Christian. The girls is out here judging people because they went to see Beyonce. And it's like, girl, worry about yourself. That silk press and that dress is not going to sit there and save you just because you have it going beyond your knees does not mean that you can hide away from your truth. The fact that you're a hypocritical bitch. And I'm saying that for the men too. The men, the pastors, hypocritical ass bitches. I'm getting tired of it. The rest of the world is getting tired of it. And we don't want to hear it anymore. Okay? If little Nas, gay trolling self, wants to sit there and say he wants to be a Christian, then he has every right. Just like every other person that decided to sit there and say they wanted to be Christian overnight or decided to sit there and say that they are delivered overnight. And you know what? If that's what they want to do, then they can do it. Someone who has a family, you know, they got a nice white picket fence on a nice hill on a nice two-story house in a nice-ass neighborhood. And, you know, they, they have their family. There's, there's a man and a woman and it's kids and it's, you know, a nice Tesla in the drive through and it's and, and, and it's it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. It's a nice production. They look good. They look the part. And uh oh, back again. Another scandal. Four or five million dollars to a woman that a jury found he gave herpes to. Tonight, that woman's lawyer is speaking only to. Uh oh, back again. Another scandal. I believed he loved me. I believe that this man saw me and had a true desire to. Uh oh, back. You gave me my money. I you get you off this camera when you give me my money. Fifteen minutes, one twenty-five. You know the drill. How many times a week we meet up, Joe? This time, this time. Really Transparent and as simple as this. I messed up. Another scandal. They look like true. God-fearing, successful, that's the most important part of it, Christians. You guys are so disingenuous. You're so disingenuous. The true Christians are the ones that don't run their mouth the most, okay? All of you feel like you're warriors for God, fighting for God, fighting for this, 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 this world to come to anew. What new? What does the good book say about the LGBTQ? Y'all are tired. And I'm really getting tired of this conversation. I'm getting tired of the LGBTQ community asking Christians, do they accept them? Why are you asking Christians, do they accept you? Why are you asking these people, do they accept you? What does the good book say? A purse. I would not put on makeup. I will. I will. Love a woman. Now li listen to what. What does the good book say? And if they're going to follow the good book, they do not accept you. I don't want to hear. I may not accept the LGBTQ, but I I don't I didn't I, I didn't ask if you accepted. I didn't ask you to tell me anything about the LGBTQ community. I didn't ask for a rundown. I didn't ask for a dissertation. I didn't 
ask for a TED talk from you where you give me a whole rundown, a, 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 a beginning and an end, a, a, a foreshadowing and then a conclusion, a hypothesis of this experiment where we sit there and go into the details. I didn't ask for all of that. I don't want to hear from any religious person. I may not agree. I don't care if you don't agree. Stop, stop, stop telling me. Stop verbalizing that to me. Stop, enough. I don't need to know it. You don't need to know about me. We don't need to know about each other. We can just move on. Let's move on. Let, let's drink our boba tea, right? Let's sit there and have a good time. Oh my God. And let's move on. Let's move on. Because I'm getting tired of it. How many times are we going to have this fucking conversation? There is other shit that is going on in this country. People could barely afford a fucking pot to piss in and a window to throw it out of. And people are sitting there talking about some damn gay people. And gay this and gay that. We must be bored. The girls must be bored and have nothing else better to do. How many denominations? We talk about people with uh, religions who have multiple deities. But we replace the deities with the different denominations. We have a whole denomination that's literally saying, I'm not a denomination. It's non-denominational. We just making up stuff. We have Jehovah Witnesses. They want to be different so bad. They're not like the other girls because they don't celebrate holidays. I said, girl, give your child a birthday cake and let them go to the Christmas party and stop treating them like shit. A fucking cult. That's what the Jehovah Witnesses is. A fucking cult. The Mormons, I'm tired of their ass. I don't like their name. I don't like their fucking name. I mean, we could talk about what they've done and the abuse that has happened in the Mormons alone, but I don't like their fucking name. All of these other denominations, even Baptists was doing too fucking much with all the stuff that I've seen in the Baptist church where they turn their eyes on the shit that's been happening to the people in the fucking church. How many denominations? And the girls want to sit there and come for the gay people because the gay people want to sit there and say, maybe God doesn't hate gays that much. And they said, I, 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 no cherry picking. Well, girl... We've been cherry picking for a while now. The girls have been cherry picking for a while because we have, I don't know how many different types of interpretations of the damn Bible. We don't, we have, I don't know how many different types of subgenres that we have of people saying, actually, this is the right way. <laughs> We've been cherry picking the Bible this whole time. And it's actually laughable at this point that people think that there's only one type of way to cherry pick the Bible. And this is only one type of way to see the Bible. And this is the only type of way. This is the true Christian way. And even then... When they somehow collectively come together, we all come together and say, this is the one most definite way of seeing the Bible. Someone's always like, actually, you're wrong. So I don't even know why I made this video. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. But again... I said, this is, this is what y'all use? This is what they was using to justify shocking gay people and making them not gay. This is what y'all was using. There are people who genuinely think that heterosexuality equals godliness. Even though we've seen from time and time again, not all heterosexuals, disclaimer, disclaimer, not all heterosexuals, time and time again, that just being straight does not make you godly. That's what the girls are saying. They're only saying, I mean, proof is in the pudding. So I just need the girls to understand that. And little Nas, I need you to understand that you created a lot of pain. You've created a lot of issues. You've created so many kids now are turning gay because of you. Are you happy, little girl is talking in a deep voice? This is what you cause little confusion, right? Let's take it back to the good old days, the purity days. Just be straight. And we did that and everything would be good. Okay? Well, I'm glad you guys looked at this video. I'm glad you guys decided to um see what was going on. I just really wanted to speak about this issue. This is something that, I mean, I, 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 I've held it up. I'm going to hold it up for the last time. Make a thumbnail. <laughs> oh my 
my gosh. Read your good book. And maybe you then will understand not to be a sinner, you sodomite. <laughs> Have a blessed day.